Today's tech tip is the first in a five-part series regarding component creation in Conquer Pro, and I'll be talking about the anatomy of a unified component as well as how component templates can be used to ensure component consistency. Throughout the series, I'll also focus on setting up component types, adding symbols and footprints, adding data sheets and parameters, and finally adding supply chain data and releasing the component. For now, let's dive into what a unified component is and how component templates can be used to help build a backbone for a rock solid library. Essentially, a unified component in Conquer Pro is a component that encapsulates the design process as a whole. Comprised of a managed symbol, a managed footprint, parametrics, and extends into other product development aspects such as MCAD and procurement. These components then use part choices to map one or more manufacturer parts to the unified component data. Like other items in Conquer Pro, a template is a managed item, meaning it is stored under version control and is lifecycle managed. This ensures that component engineers or librarians are able to construct components from a known good template. The component template editor consists essentially of two regions. The upper region allows us to define lifecycle and folder options, while component naming can be used to define the naming scheme for the component's unique ID within Conquer Pro. The lower region can be used for defining parameters for the component that references the template. Here we can define the managed symbol that we should use, which managed PCB footprint, if any, or even more than one if needed, as well as the component type, which we'll cover in part two of the series. In the parameters list, we can also control which parameters should be visible, pre-fill default values, and even determine which parameters should be required as mandatory within the components. The component template editor allows you to define explicit data types, for example, volts, ampers, ohms, farads, henrys, and so on, as well as common engineering notation prefixes, for example, P for Pico, N for Nano, U for Micro, and all the standard ones. These unit-aware data types can do the decimal conversions for you. So for example, if you have a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, it could also be stored as a 100 nanofarad capacitor. This allows for extremely versatile search formats and value ranges. Now that we've taken a look at how to set up a component template, you'll have the confidence that your component will be consistent and appropriately defined. Join me next time as we dive into Conquer Pro's Component Types feature in part two of this five-part series.